Here's how to boost your sales conversions upwards of 30% with this simple four part psychological based framework that you can copy for yourself to get more of your visitors actually converting into customers. Hey, I'm Jason, faith based entrepreneur, marketing geek, timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources, including a link to our funnel template pack that has our top converting funnel pages, email campaign, and course framework to help you go from idea to sales in just a few days. Now, when it comes to the checkout section of our sales, sales funnel, we have one job to do. Don't screw up the sale. Really, that, that, that's it. By this point, someone has probably already joined our email list. They've gone through our sales page. Maybe they've already seen some sales emails, depending upon how we formatted our sales funnel. So we are like on the one yard line here. We are about to close the sale. So we're just trying not to mess it up. Now, when it comes to the strategy and structure of your funnel, there's two different ways that you can handle this part. Uh, the first way, which is the way I recommend, is just have the checkout page essentially just a section of your sales page. Uh, saves some headache and you might as well have it there anyway. They're already on the page. Let's go ahead and continue the process. Or depending upon your software stack, or maybe you want to send people to a completely different system to do the checkout or get their uh, access, then you might want to have a separate checkout page. Now, either way, uh, we have you covered with the template linked up in the description. You can do it both ways and uh, you can build it out. So whichever method you decide to use, we have you covered. Now to make sure our checkout section is in fact securing more sales and reducing cart abandonment, we're going to use the STAR framework. It stands for secure seals, trusting testimonials, all access, and of course, risk removal. So let's go ahead, kick things off with the most important one, which is secure access. Look, we need people to view this page as safe and secure. So even though someone's made it this far in our sales process, they probably have a healthy amount of skepticism because they're about to take their credit card and enter it into some random page, right? So we need to communicate that we're not a scam and their information is safe, secure, and not going to be sold. And the easy way to do this is to just have some sort of seals on the page right by the checkout to show that your payment information is secure. Uh, now, if you're doing a payment processor like Stripe, everything's gonna be you know 256-bit encryption. And I actually just used Canva to make some of these graphics and icons. And if you're using Systemi to build your pages, then they will actually show the credit card logos as well. They've actually done research and showing the credit card logos actually increases conversions and makes people more secure. Of course, I also have a little bit of text under there saying that we're not going to rent or you know sell their information, right? They buy this one five or $6 product and then the next day their email's like blowing up because we sold it to 12 different people instantly, which is technically against the CanSpam app anyway, but you know, act. I said app, can spam app, act anyway, but we don't have to get into that. So essentially all that we're doing here is we are saying, hey, your information's secure, we're not stealing it, we're not se selling it, and um, you're not gonna get an alert tomorrow morning from your credit card company for fraud. And so that's all we have to do with secure uh, seals here. Then the next step is trusting testimonials. And this is different than testimonials you have in other parts of your sales page and your sales process. Here, these testimonials should be short, sweet, and to the point, right? Like they should be one or two lines, max. Uh, we don't want someone clicking on a testimonial video and then spending 10 or 15 minutes going through a bunch of testimonial videos here. So I've seen some sales pages that do that. If you have testimonial videos, awesome. Put them somewhere else. <laughs> Don't put them here. Uh, we want things to be short and sweet, and we're all just trying to communicate to the customer. <laughs> if I can get it out, <laughs> all just trying to communicate to the customer that uh, other people have also gone through this checkout process and not been scammed. It's kind of what we're doing here. We're just building as much trust as possible um, for them to enter their credit card on what they might perceive as a random website. So once we have those testimonials, then we have all access. And here we are just restating what it is that they're getting. Now, this is really key. I'm gonna break this rule in a moment, welcome to marketing, but do not add anything new. We want zero confusion. 
So we are literally going to use the same images we used other places in our sales process and sales page. You could literally just copy and paste the description of what they're getting from a different part of your sales page. Uh, have just a quick list of everything that's included. If we have some bonuses, we'll talk about those here as well. And nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, should be new. There's no surprises here whatsoever. Surprises and bonuses and extra things is bad when it comes to this, this part of the sales process. Except if you have a order bump. And so this is a simple strategy you can use. Pretty much any funnel builder these days allows you to do it. And this is going to be where you have a really, really low ticket, like couple dollars, 10, $15 max offer. This is the only part of the checkout process where you might introduce something new. Everything else though will be the same. So then we go into risk removal. And of course this is making it as much of a no brainer to purchase your product or service as possible. I am always a huge fan of offering some version of guarantees. So in this particular example, I do like a 60 day money back guarantee and make sure it's really clear in your list of what they're getting listed out like a feature of the product. And then I also used Canva to make this really overly simplistic graphic, right? Saying 30 or 30 or 60 days. And so that's all there is to it to risk reversal. Now I always get pushback on this, but look, if someone's going to take advantage of it, someone's going to take advantage of it. And we really, as entrepreneurs do not have time to run around fighting card credit card companies when we get chargebacks. So it's better to deal with excessive refunds than waste your time with excessive chargebacks. And if you're not familiar, that's when someone calls up their credit card company and says that you scam them. And because you sell stuff online and they're a consumer, obviously the credit card company will side with the consumer. It's actually a really hard uphill battle. So with that, that does it for the star framework and every element we need to reduce that shopping cart abandonment and hopefully boost those conversions. And you can apply this strategy for free using our funnel template pack linked up in the description that has all of our top performing funnel pages, an email campaign, and even a course structure that you can copy for yourself so you can get up and running as quickly as possible. So hit that like button, subscribe for more marketing guides just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.